ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Playtech TV. My name is Kevin, and today we're going to be looking at the NVIDIA GeForce GTX Titan X. And this thing is an absolute beast. You're going to really want to watch this video because the benchmarks might blow you away a little bit. But first, let's talk about the GPU in this guy. So it's a 28 nanometer Maxwell GM200 GPU. It's kind of like the big bad brother uh, to the GM204 GPU, which is in the GTX 980 and GTX 970. It features 3072 CUDA cores as opposed to the 2048 CUDA cores on the GTX 980. It has 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory at 7010 megahertz on a 384-bit memory bus, so just crazy amounts of memory on this guy. And the peak memory bandwidth is actually 50% higher than that of the GTX 980. Now speeds wise is coming in with a 1000 MHz base clock and a 1075 MHz boost clock although with GPU Boost 2.0 that changes and this one that I was testing in particular went all the way up to 1177 MHz. Now TDP wise is coming with a 250 watt TDP quite a bit higher than that of the GTX 980 which is at 165 watts. It has a power requirement of uh, 600 watts, which is actually, yeah, not too bad considering the amount of power this guy is putting out. Size-wise, it's coming in at 282 millimeters long by 110 millimeters wide by 43 millimeters tall. So kind of standard size. I mean, this is a NVIDIA reference cooler, uh, so this should fit in the majority, the vast majority of cases out there. And uh, power-wise, it just takes a single 8-pin and a single 6-pin power connector, which is actually quite impressive, you know, considering how powerful this card is. Now, SLI has two SLI fingers, which uh, you can go up to four-way SLI with these guys. So if you really want to go that crazy, you can. Looking around now to I.O., and it just features, uh, it's kind of like the reference for NVIDIA now. So just a single DVAI, single HDMI 2.0, that means 4K at 60 hertz, which is really cool and a triple display port, uh, display port 1.2, so that's uh, all pretty standard. And display port is going to be the one that the majority of users are going to be using anyway. And uh, obviously it features all the other Maxwell features that we've talked about plenty of times before and I'm sure uh, you're all very aware of, such as uh, VXGI and all of that fun stuff. Now, let's talk about the benchmarks of this guy and uh, how it actually performs so we'll put it against the next kind of highest one from the video which is the GTX 980 for this one in particular we'll be putting it up against the MSI Gaming 4G non-reference GTX 980 uh, and just to put it in perspective for you that's running at 1300 megahertz and I'll be doing these tests both at 1080p and 1440p, which I think is going to be what most users who are buying this graphics card are going to be playing at, if not 4K. So the first game is Tomb Raider. So this is uh, everything maxed out on the ultimate preset without V-Sync. At 1080p, the GTX 980 scored 108.1 average frames per second, where the Titan X scored 138.7 frames per second average. Now at 1440p, the GTX 980 scored 72.2 frames per second average, while the Titan X scored 96.6 frames per second average, so a decent jump up there. Now Bioshock Infinite, this is uh, everything maxed out. At 1080p, the GTX 980 scored 128.5 frames per second, the Titan X scored 155 frames per second, and at 1440p, the GTX 980 scored 85.9 average frames per second and the Titan X scored 109 average frames per second. So quite a big jump up there. The Titan X really pulling away. And finally, Shadow of Mordor. This is on the Ultra preset. Now at 1080p, the 980 scored 97.9 average frames per second and the Titan X scored 123.3 average frames per second. And now at 1440p, the 980 scored 68.9 frames per second, so just above 60. And the Titan X scored 88.6 frames per second. So you'd see that it's kind of consistent both at 1080p and 1440p with the jump up. And it's around you know 20 to 25 frames per second better uh, the Titan X is over the GTX 980. So that's quite a decent jump up there. And of course, with the 12 gigabytes of memory as opposed to 4 gigabytes, it's going to uh, do very well in very memory hungry games. 
Now, temperatures-wise, this guy also did quite good uh, during the Unigen Heaven uh, benchmark that I did with it, just to check out temperatures. It went up to uh, 84 degrees Celsius, so a little bit toasty, a lot more uh, than many cards out there. But I mean, this is the reference design, and I believe there will be a non-reference uh, Titan X is coming or they might already be out uh, so that should address the issue but it doesn't get you know too hot it's not throttling or anything like that it's just uh, sort of hovers around the mid 80s so the Titan X is just an absolute beast it does about 20 to 25 frames better than the GTX 980 uh, none of these uh, games were maxing out the 980's 4 gigabytes of memory but I mean the 12 gigabytes on this guy is just going to pull away from it uh, in very memory hungry games out there and should be a bit more future proof I guess in that sense as well but it's just an absolute beast and it's more reserved for kind of like the ultra enthusiasts out there given the price point that this guy's coming in at but it definitely is the single fastest GPU that you can buy right now so if that's what you're looking for then I suggest looking into buying the Titan X. Now I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Playtech TV if you haven't already and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.